So we're going to decorate a drummer, Timberkit's best-selling model, and the one that the customers most frequently personalise. It seems that everyone knows a drummer that needs immortalising as an automata. In this video, we're depicting Harold from Cartoon Violence, a ska band from Mid Wales. Here he is, the one in the middle with the black t-shirt. I'll show you some material choices and some techniques, but really the possibilities are endless if you observe a few basic rules. The key is to plan your decorating before you start building. Look ahead through the instructions and don't commit to glue anything until you're clear about how it's going to be decorated. And don't rush it. If you're using paint, for example, paint the pieces before gluing them together as much as possible because smudge glue will act as a resist and leave your paint patchy, as you can see here. Also, once your model is all together, it's really difficult to reach all the parts to give a consistent and tidy finish. Keep paint out of the mechanisms and out of holes that shafts have to run through, as this may affect the smooth running of your model. Usually with timber kits, you'll find yourself partially completing various bits before bringing them all together in a final assembly. Here are all my pre-decorated pieces ready for the next stage. Let's look at them in a little more detail. I like to use Posca pens, which are water-based, so don't smell, and they dry quickly so you can layer up different effects. They come in various sizes and a huge choice of colours, and there may be a less messy alternative to paint. Tim Pickett's also supply acrylic paints in 12 colours, which are ideal. Any water-based paint will do, but you don't want to soak the wood, as that will warp and distort it, so use it carefully. You can also use water-based dyes and varnishes, but avoid spirit-based cover, as they may stop glue from working. To make the trim around the drums, I use some gold cord found in my grandmother's sewing box. Grandmother's sewing boxes are usually a treasure trove for interesting threads and detailing. Have a good sprot around your house for interesting materials. The front of the bass drum is a great place to advertise the band your drummer is in. I printed the Cartoon Violence logo out, drew round it and glued it on. The tattoos on Harold's arm were great fun to do. I used some fine drawing pens and they gave me a detailed photo to work from so I tried to get it as accurate as possible. It's up to you how much detail you put in, but I tend to get quite carried away. See what else you can find that is typical for the person in question. Harold obviously has a distinctive personal style, including the trainers and the graphic t-shirts. The glasses were a challenge. In the end, I found a paint can lid of the right proportions. I cut the glasses out of the curve of the lid with a scalpel and bent the arms in to pinch around his head. I think they really made it though. I was quite pleased with myself there. The stubbly hair and beard I did with a dry brush with a little paint on and then just gently stippled it. Always test on a spare bit of wood or paper first. Harold wears a pocket chain, which is a nice detail. I found an old piece of jewellery to cut a bit out of, made a hole in the wood and pushed the ends of the chain in and secured with a blob of superglue. So there we have all the bits ready for final assembly. Position the stool and the limbs and the figure so that all the pegs line up in the holes. Try to do this without glue first. As each piece goes together, you can test it to see if it's working.
and I give you Harold the Drummer from Cartoon Violence. I'm a prisoner in-